I personally met with Joe Biden in Los Angeles in May of 2017 multiple times to discuss the broad contours of our business dealings. Those are the words of Biden, China business partner, Tony Bobolinsky, and they are damning. Hunter's former business associate, who was the first to come forward with evidence and receipts of the Biden family's influence peddling scheme, gave testimony today that evidently was explosive in the House impeachment probe against Joe Biden. In his transcribed interview before members of both political parties, Bobolinsky stated the Chinese Communist Party, through its surrogate China Energy Company Limited, or CEFC, a CCP-linked Chinese energy conglomerate, successfully sought to infiltrate and compromise Joe Biden and the Obama-Biden White House. His family's foreign influence peddling operation from China to Ukraine and elsewhere sold out to foreign actors who were seeking to gain influence and access to Joe Biden and the United States government. This was a very big day. And House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer joins us tonight. Congressman, it's good to have you back on. T tell us, uh, in your estimation, the most explosive things that we heard from Bobolinsky today, or, or you heard, I should say. Well, two things. First of all, he, he talked about his interaction with Joe. And remember, Joe has said he never met any of the Biden associates, and we've proven that he met with all of them. Uh, he met with Tony Bobolinsky, met with Joe on more than one occasion. And I think most explosive, he talked about what exactly CEFC was and what their objective was. And, Rob, their objective, very simply, was to initiate the Belt and Road Initiative in the United States. Everything that uh, Congress agrees on in a bipartisan manner with respect to China, uh, preventing China from owning farmland, uh, preventing China from buying manufacturing companies, from buying energy companies, this is what CEFC was doing. They were the, the uh, investment arm of the Chinese Communist Party that was trying to infiltrate our American markets yes. and start taking over our markets. Yes. They had all this cash, and they wanted to invest it in anything they could, and the Bidens were there to help them uh, remove barriers of entry to our markets. Uh, Bob Belinsky's testimony uh, alleges, I, I would say, treason. I, I would say that. I mean, if, if you are working on behalf of the Chinese Communist Party while you are as vice president of the United States. I don't know how else you would explain that. I, I don't know how else you, you, would, you would, what would you phrase that yeah. as? Well, what we proved uh, with the transcribed interview with Rob Walker, where we released the transcripts today, there was a letter uh, from Hunter Biden to the Chinese uh, in 2015 20, uh, that showed that they were working on this deal while Joe Biden was vice president. Yeah. Tony Bobolinsky confirmed that today under oath. All of this negoti all of the negotiations with the Chinese happened during the Obama Biden administration. Right. That's another lie we've caught Joe Biden in. Right. He said nothing happened till after he was vice president. It all happened while he was vice right. president. Right. And it was it was toward the end of the term when he thought his political career was over. This is the time to cash yeah. out. And then as we know, within weeks after he left the White House, the money started cycling through. Millions of dollars starts mm -hmm. pouring in. You you uh, you you've stated today um, that you've never seen Democrats react the way that they did today for, 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 what we, for, for what we had today, which was a transcribed interview. You've never seen the behavior from the Democrat Party as you've seen today. Explain that to us. I've never seen such witness intimidation as what I saw today. And it wasn't necessarily from the Democrat wow. staff who were leading the deposition. It was from the members. It was from Jamie Raskins. It was from Goldman. It was from Garcia. It was from Crockett. They were there. They were wagging their fingers. They were pointing. They were yelling. They were calling Tony Bobolinsky a liar. They were telling him to shut up. Wow. Tony Bobolinsky is an American hero. He stood there. He told the truth. He went under oath. Uh, and they can't handle the truth, Rob. The Democrats can't handle the truth. This is another bad day for Joe Biden. Last week, Robert Herr said he was essentially a mental invalid. And today, Tony Bobolinsky said that he knew very well what his family was doing with China, that he was the brand that the Biden family was selling right. to our enemies around the world. That's the second person who's confirmed in these depositions that Joe Biden was the brand. Yeah. Let me, let me just read this. Bobolinsky says the process in which CEFC sought to infiltrate and compromise the Obama-Biden White House started in the fourth quarter of 2015 
continued through when Joe Biden left office in January 2017 into March 2018, when Chairman Yi was detained for corruption in China, never to be seen again. So again, I just want to reemphasize that, the fact that this started, the work started right at the very end of Obama-Biden, when Joe Biden, who was yeah. in his mid-70s, knew he was done as a politician, or thought at that point that he was done being a politician, that's when he turned on the, all right, let's get paid, let's set up shop, let's get all the money, and let's get out. After 45, 50 years, whatever it's been in politics, he knew this is the time to cash out. One more thing. Bobolinsky says since 2020, when he walked into the FBI's Washington field office with phones containing encrypted messages between himself, Biden family members, and their associates. Remember, Bobolinsky has had all of this evidence on phones. He has messages, them saying, don't talk about, don't mention Joe Biden's name in writing. All of this he has from other business associates like James Gillier. Law enforcement never contacted him about this. Even as he prepared for today's testimony, it's not, not even David Weiss, who's been looking at Hunter Biden for years now, reached out to him. Nobody wants to talk to Tony Bobolinsky. The media doesn't want to talk to him. The DOJ does not want to talk to this man. He doesn't really exist you know, in, in their world. Yeah, and he's the most credible person by far of anyone that was ever involved at any point during the Biden schemes. I mean, uh, Bob Elinsky, the reason that he never, at the end of the day, uh, finalized his deal with the Bidens was because he was concerned about the ethics. He was concerned once he learned exactly what CEFC was. He's a patriot. He served his country. He's a third-generation American uh, soldier in his family. And, 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 and also, and, and, and that's, that's all fine, he, is, he, was, he, he served his country, but let's be honest, he also got burned. They tried to cut him out. They tried to cut him out of a deal. Hunter tried to, to defraud him and tried to take his money from him. And you know what? They crossed the wrong guy. And yes, he was, he, he was, he's a that's patriot. Right. His family was in the military. He was in the military as well. But then they tried to take his money. Hunter Greedy tried to take his money. And mm -hmm. now you have this. But I, I, it's just amazing to me, for people out there that, that don't believe that we live in some kind of you know, information matrix in this country, you do. Because this guy has been trying to get in front of everybody that he can for the last several years. He's been trying to get in front of Jake Tapper at CNN. Nobody will talk to him. The DOJ won't call him back. And he has, again, as you said, this is the most damning evidence we've seen. This is direct evidence of what I would consider to be treasonous behavior. I mean, you are working to the benefit of the Chinese Communist Party while you're the American vice president. Absolutely. There's no question. This is the second witness under oath who has testified to this. We've, we've uh, demonstrated a pattern here. We've already demonstrated a pattern in Joe Biden line. You mentioned earlier the FBI knew not only was this a bad day for Joe Biden, it was another bad day for the FBI. Yeah. My goal, Rob, at the end of, of this investigation is that everyone is held accountable for wrongdoing, not just the Bidens for the crimes they committed, but for every deep state government actor that was involved in the cover-up. That's our objective, to try to create the uh, the final report that has criminal referrals and identifies the federal employees who were involved in this cover up because this is an investigation of public corruption at the highest level and no one has been held accountable and what we're trying to do with all these interviews with all these depositions with all of the uh, the the testimony is right. to try to put together a case to hold people accountable for wrongdoing. Exactly right. I have 10 seconds left. Does he testify publicly? Will he get a chance to speak in front of that committee with cameras rolling? Yes, sir. And that's coming up soon? Yeah, yeah. We've got a okay. deposition with Hunter Biden. We've got a transcribed interview with Jim Biden. Then we'll be ready to hold another hearing. Okay. All right. Congressman, big day. Thank you so much, sir. We appreciate it. Thanks, Rob.